David here from Fig Boot on Pens. Today we're going to take a look at the very first limited edition fountain pen that I had purchased. Uh, and what I have is this beauty right here, which is the Platinum 3776 Yamanaka. So what I'm going to do is tell you a little bit about the pen and some of the history of it, and then some of the things that I, I like and some of the things I don't like. We'll go over some measurements, and then we'll do a writing example. Platinum is producing uh, limited edition models of their 3776, which are inspired and named after the largest lakes surrounding Mount Fuji in Japan. Um, I have a picture of them here that I'll insert. And as you can see, Mount Fuji has a height of 3,776 meters, and there are five main lakes. Uh, not sure if I'm pronouncing them correctly, but Motosu, Shoji, Sai, Kawaguchi, and Yamanaka. So, I'm not sure why Lake Sai has red font in the picture. It was taken directly from the Platinum website. My guess is it was an image they used when they had uh, launched the Sai model. So, they have produced and uh, released four pens of, for four of the five lakes, with only Lake uh, Kawaguchi remaining. And that here we have their latest re release of the series, which is the Yamanaka. It comes in this box, which is actually a very nice box. Um, a nice white faux leather box. <clears throat> right here. And inside they have a little pamphlet as well as a pigmented blue-black ink. Uh, and that, uh, I actually like this box, it looks very nice. And inside here we have the pen. The distinct feature of this pen is the raised wave pattern uh, on both the barrel and the cap. I, ha I have a close-up picture of it I'll, I'll show here really quick. The, the rippling patterns are really meant to evoke the, the gentle waves of Lake Yamanaka. Uh, and it has a, a very distinct feeling and touch, which I like a great deal. We'll kind of get a, a close-up picture of them here to see if we can kind of see. It's nice as you move the pen, it kind of evokes the look and feel of the waves going across the surface of the lake. So we'll take a look at some of the parts of the pen. Here on the finial, it's a clear finial, and you can kind of see some of the inner workings of the cap, which are neat. The clip uh, is fairly tight, but still very usable. Uh, this is a rhodium trim, and the pen is made of a clear resin. So um, on, the, on the band itself, it actually says uh, Platinum 3776, made in Japan, and then it has a little swirly design. It's not a Japanese character, it's just kind of a six swirls. Uh, and then it says uh, 3776. And actually here at the top of the pen, it's very hard to see, but uh, is the limited edition number. This pen is 3051 of 3776. Uh, the body actually tapers down, and then there is another silver ring at the end, and then a clear end at the, uh, the end of the barrel. It has a screw cap, and then it has a clear section, which I like very much. It's kind of neat to have a pure clear section you can see all the way through. Now, uh, the nib is a uh, uh, is a medium nib. I have a close-up picture of it so you can kind of get a better idea of what's going on there. Uh, that uh, it uh, is very nice and then it actually has the uh, the heart shaped as far as the uh, uh, as far as the feeder hole goes. And then actually on the very side of the nib, it's hard to tell but it actually says Japan written on the side of the nib here. Not many, not many nibs have something on the side and I kind of like it when there's something different like that. And then there's the underside of the feed. You can see that better in the light. Uh, this is a cartridge converter pen and it comes with a, a cartridge. And they have, the Platinum has what's called the, the slip and seal mechanism which they have inside their caps which the very first time I, I, I used one of the 
3776 pins, I thought something was wrong with the pin just because it felt a little odd when I was twisting it shut. But then when I understood the mechanism, it seemed perfectly normal. So what happens is that when you twist the pin, it's very easy and then it gets to a certain point where there's just a slight amount more tension. And for about a quarter of a turn, there's a little bit more tension. And what I'll show you is what's going on in the cap here is there is the inner cap. And what happens is the inner cap and then there's a spring up here at the top. And what happens is, we'll take a look at it, is it goes up against that inner cap. And then when you make that last twist, you can see that the cap actually gets pushed up against that spring and it creates an airtight seal which uh, Platinum claims will uh, prevent ink loss and that you uh, a pen can be used for uh, months and months and months or not used for months and months and months and, and not lose the ink out of it. So um, overall the, uh, the pen has a real nice quality feel to it um, that, that I like very much. It had, the waves give it a very a tactile feel that I that I enjoy. Um, so we'll go over it in the writing sample, but there's really only one thing that I don't care about for this pen, and it's really the springiness of the nib. Uh, it is very springy, uh, not quite as springy as like a a Pelican M1000, but still has a, a great deal of spring to it that more than than your typical pen, and more than I typically prefer. Prefer, but overall the Platinum 3776. Yamanaka is a very solid pen and I haven't regretted this purchase at all. So let's take a look at some measurements and then we'll do a writing sample. So here we go with the writing sample for the Platinum 376 Yamanaka. So we have the Platinum 3776 Yamanaka and this is a medium nib and the ink is Sailor Gentle uh, I think the name is just blue black but But that's what it is. So that's what the bottle looks like. It's very similar to what they are putting the bung box bottle or bung box inks in as well. Uh, and this is a color just to show a comparison. Uh, it's very similar to the the bung box 4B, uh, but uh, it seems like it has a little less blue in it than the uh, than the bung box. But you can just see in that comparison. So here we'll just do a bit of a writing sample. Lazy dog. Now, this nib uh, does have a bit of flex to it, and so you can get a bit of variation out of it, uh, but it is very, very, very springy. So it is something that does have a lot of spring to it, more than any other nib in, in my collection. Uh, well, maybe I'm thinking the, the Pelican M1000 uh, is close to that and has a, a great deal of spring, but this just has a, a great deal of, of spring to it. And so it's a, something that takes a little while of getting used to. Um, it does have a very good ink flow, and it is most definitely a, uh, a an Asian medium nib that is not a Western medium nib. Uh, and so it's just more of a, a finer line. But um, you can see here if I make little more pressure you can get some variation out of here and actually for in regard to reverse writing it reverse writes very very well and puts down a, a nice extra fine line so now we'll see how it does with some uh, fast writing and it works just fine so 
Uh, the Platinum 376 Yamanaka is a, a well-made pen with some interesting features and a unique design. It's definitely a pen worth adding to a collection. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye.